Anna is a young and inexperienced but talented and ambitious girl dreaming of a big and glamorous world of art. In the future, she wants to open her own art gallery. Currently, Anna lives at her sister's place in New York and works at Irwin's auction house as an intern for a woman named Claire. However, her internship doesn't bring her any money or inspiration. She hurries to the auction house, prepared for an important event but discovers that her blouse is dirty. Anna's friend Amy tries to help her but fails. Their boss is a perfectionist psycho, and she doesn't allow both of them to work at the auction. Luckily, Anna finds a mistake in the auction catalog and saves the day, proving herself as a highly skilled professional. Anna celebrates her little victory but realizes that she deserves something more than just Claire's praise. In the morning, Claire calls Anna and invites her to be her third assistant during her business trip to London. Anna happily agrees and rushes to the airport, where Claire's super mean assistants treat her like Cinderella. But every Cinderella has her fairy godmother, so the airport check-in clerk upgrades Anna to first class. There, while Anna enjoys a spa treatment and drinks, she meets a handsome guy, named Will, and accidentally pours her cocktail over his outfit. On the plane, Anna happens to sit next to Will, and they finally have a proper talk. Will tells her that he's flying to London to his mother after a job interview in New York. To make a better impression, Anna pretends to be the head of an art company. Will believes her, and they instantly hit it off, spending hours talking, laughing, and drinking champagne. In the morning, Anna has to come back to reality. She awkwardly returns the salt and pepper shakers she stole the other night to the flight attendant and gets ready to depart. In London, Anna meets Will's mother, Catherine, who offers her a ride. Anna keeps lying about her career and adds more details to her story. Before they part ways, Will asks Anna out, and they exchange numbers. When Anna meets Claire, she discovers that her boss is going to Italy and leaving Anna in London on her own with tons of work to do. Anna realizes that her laptop is missing. She must have left it in Will's car. It looks like Claire's assistants want to do anything to make Anna's life miserable, including giving her a terrible workspace and sending her to live in a crappy hotel. Catherine calls Anna and invites her to a party at her house. Anna desperately needs to retrieve her laptop, so she decides to go. At the party, she delves into the luxurious world of chic and celebrities. She even finds common language with a renowned artist who faked his own death to become famous. Anna finds out that Catherine is selling her inherited masterpieces with the help of Irwin's and that Claire is going to be responsible for the auction. Anna adores the paintings and explains their uniqueness to Catherine. She also recalls that her boss needed tickets for a famous Shakespeare play, and Catherine promised to get those for Anna. What luck! The girl hurries to retrieve her laptop and get back to work. The next day, Will texts Anna that he has the tickets. She goes to the park to meet him and sees him training a bunch of kids. It turns out that he is a soccer coach, and Anna is surprised that he works somewhere else besides commercial business. Before giving her the tickets, Will invites Anna for lunch. Unfortunately, she doesn't have time, but Will makes her promise to accompany him to another event. When Anna returns to the gallery, Claire is back from Italy. Anna is the only one who managed to get the tickets, so Claire is very delighted. Will sends Anna a photo of his tuxedo, but she doesn't have anything to wear for the solemn event. She decides to wear Claire's dress and looks amazing in it. Will, Anna, and Catherine attend an art exhibition where everyone compliments Anna's look. Catherine recalls Anna's words about her collection of masterpieces and starts doubting her decision to sell them. All of a sudden, Anna spots Claire and her assistants entering the building and flees the scene. Will chases after her and asks her what is wrong. Anna tells him that she needs a break from glamorous official events, so he offers her to continue the evening in another place. Together, they go to a bar and spend a wonderful time drinking and dancing. The mutual attraction between them is undeniable, and Anna falls for this guy more and more every minute. When she wants to take a taxi, Will offers to walk with her to her hotel. 
Of course, he thinks that she lives in Claire's luxurious hotel, but Anna keeps lying to him. When they reach the place, Will expects her to invite him to her room, but Anna tells him she wants to take things slow. Will kisses her, and it is a wonderful kiss that brings joy to both of them. When Anna enters the hotel she doesn't live in, she starts realizing that her white lie has gone too far. She has fallen in love with a man way out of her league, and now she can't even imagine his reaction if she tells him the truth about her real job. However, they keep seeing each other. While Will keeps marveling at how smart, rich, and independent Anna is, she uses him and his connections to curry favor with Claire. Will is determined to get a job in New York to be closer to Anna, but she is scared that if he moves there, he will definitely reveal her secret. Alas, nothing can last long. One day, Catherine announces that she wants to cancel the deal, and Claire demands to find someone responsible for that. Will wants to surprise Anna and shows up at the gallery. Disappointed by his mom's decision, Anna takes all her anger out on him. He says he just wanted to tell her that he got the job in New York. But now he feels like she was using him all along. To make matters even worse, one of Claire's assistants reveals the truth about Anna's act, and Claire fires her. Desperate, Anna calls her sister only to discover that she won't be able to live at her place in New York anymore. She has no other choice but to go to Catherine, tell her everything, and apologize. Luckily, Catherine isn't angry. On the contrary, she confesses that she cancelled the deal just to raise more money from selling her collection. She decides to take Anna and go to Claire together. After a little makeover, Anna looks even better than usual. Catherine agrees to complete the deal only on one condition, Anna has to become the head of the auction. Wow, that is a great move, and Anna finally earns Claire's respect and forgiveness. The auction goes as smoothly as planned, and it is the best event in the entire history of Irwin's. Claire tells Anna that it's time to come back home. But Will is nowhere to be seen, and Anna wants to apologize to him before leaving for New York. She finds him in the park during the match of his children's team. He hears her out, but is not ready to forgive her. Heartbroken, Anna returns to New York, but this time first class doesn't bring her any joy. Six months later, Anna manages to make her dream come true and opens her own gallery. After celebrating her first exhibition opening, Anna meets Will, who eventually came to congratulate her. He stole salt and pepper shakers from the first class as a reminder of their first night together. He forgives her, and they give their relationship another shot. <laughs>